But tonight at 11, tolling in Oregon just hit a roadblock. Governor Tina Kotek today told transportation officials to stop their work on a new tolling program for highways in the Portland metro area. And tonight we're digging into where things go next. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us for K2 News at 11. I'm Deborah Knapp. You may remember last year, Kotek paused all tolling projects until 2026. And today she said state lawmakers should reevaluate the entire program. K2's Barry Mangold joins us live now with more on the state of tolling in Oregon. Barry? Well, Deb, the current tolling plan from ODOT has not really been popular. In February, the city of West Lynn released the results of a commission survey that asked 600 people in Multnomah, Clackamas, and Washington counties what they think of the current plan. 71% opposed it. And today, Governor Kotek effectively stopped the plan for now, saying that in its current form, it's not a wise use of money. We've shifted from a pause on tolling to a halt on tolling. Oregon won't be adding tolls to I-5 or I-205 anytime soon. On Monday, Governor Tina Kotek told the State Transportation Commission to end work on the Regional Mobility Pricing Project for now, saying, quote, the challenges of implementing the Regional Mobility Pricing Project have grown larger than the anticipated benefits. The one exception, tolling for the interstate bridge over the Columbia River. Kotek said that project should not be delayed. The chair of the Transportation Commission responded by saying they still see tolling as one tool the state should use to collect vital funding for road and highway improvements. Well, I appreciate the governor you know, basically saying this, this, the math doesn't add up. Dean Sir is a founder of Vote Before Tolls, a group seeking to amend the state constitution to require a vote before the state can add any toll. He is one of many in the I-5 and 205 corridors that have criticized the state tolling plan, which was intended to fund ODOT and general road maintenance. Kotek's letter did not address isolated tolling projects on various bridges across the Portland metro and surrounding areas, each of which would fund improvements on their respective bridges. They have not said anything about putting a halt on the bridge tolls over the Tualatin River and the Willamette River. So the Abernethy Bridge uh, here in West Lynn, Oregon City, the Boone Bridge south of Wilsonville, and then the Tualatin River where it crosses I-5 and I-205. To my understanding so far, uh, they have not put a halt on that. Also in question is the future of funding for ODOT, which, as Kotek put it, is facing catastrophic funding challenges that will need to be addressed by lawmakers in Salem in 2025, in addition to the issue of tolling in Oregon. And tonight we did reach out to the governor's office to seek some clarity on whether her order to stop applies the bridge tolling as well as the regional tolling project. We'll let you know as soon as we hear back. At the live desk, Barry Mangold, K2 News. Barry, thank you.